Hello, folks. Welcome to KK and Daddy's Show. I'm your host, the Wampa, sharing it a little bit tonight with no other than Raphael. None other than Raphael. Should see. Hi, Wampa. I'll tell you something. Our enemies, KK, wants us to start getting along better. As you remember, folks, Raphael fired me from my first job back in the 80s, didn't you? Actually, that wasn't my first job. My first job was Star Wars. You fired me, though. 68, wasn't it, K. Yep. Yep, 68. Back in 68, you fired me. And, uh, and uh, here I am, your boss, your master. Let me tell you something. The whole reason we're doing this is because Caleb wanted us to get along better. And here you are bringing up the past. Don't say I'll tell you something that's my line, sister. I'm not your sister. I'm a turtle. I'm also a male turtle. You zip it. Sorry, folks, but uh, we're trying to get along here. There's no hard feelings, is there, Wampa? Or uh, Raphael. I called you Wampa. That's me. I'll tell you something. I'm tired. You stop saying I'll tell you something. That's my thing. So, oh. Ooh, I'm a little lightheaded here tonight, folks. Oh, pardon me. Hey, wait. Say what? No, me and Raphael are getting along a little bit better, folks. Aren't we, Kiki? Yep. He want us to co-host tonight so that we can put our differences aside. So far, so good, Wampa. Yes. It started out a little bit rough there, but did... now we're doing okay. Is... Who is this? My name is Triple H. Triple H? What's your story? I am from... You're in the wrestling business, aren't you? Yep. I'm retired. Long retired, like since 2005. Oh, really? That was after my time. I'm an 80s kind of wampa. That's where I hit my peak. So tell me something, Triple H. Who was your most fearsome opponent in the wrestling ring in the squared circle? John Cena. John Cena. Did you ever beat him? I don't, I'm sorry, I don't follow your, your, your business. <gasps> I am better. Because I am Triple H. I got Did it. you just smack me? Yes. I Do you know who I am? I'm the Wampa. Yes, I've seen you before. Uh, well, this is my show, sister. <sighs> I suggest you don't miss. I'll tell you something else. Well, I want a bunch of belts. A bunch of belts. It's all rigged anyway. None of it's real. <sighs> i tell you something. I'm second in command at Pookie Bear Industries. I can get you fired. Don't be smacking me upside the head. I've been known to tear a guy's arm off here and there. Oh! Folks, did you see it? Look at it! You punk. Let me tell you something right now. No! Hey. You see these claws? I fell off the stage! Yeah. Don't mess with the wipe. <laughs> it's all simmered down now. He knocks me off the stage. You see that, Raphael? He tore my arm. <laughs> you alright, sister? No. Oh. I tell you, are you sorry? <laughs> oh, cheap shot. I will make my report with HR and with KK because I got a coworker here who's assaulting me. On the clock, on the clock. Now I'll tell you something else. Look at my arm, look at it, look at it. You can get... Well, else you got, KK? It's your story, punk. They got something up there. Sometimes I get a furball, folks. I'm sorry. So what? KK. Uh, what's this now? Who are you? I'm Han Solo, and I'm just here to say make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell for more videos. That's Han Solo circa episode five, just like me. Episode five. Empire Strikes Back. Considered by many to be the best Star Wars movie, probably because I'm in it. Not sure, though. Yep. What do you think? Sister? I was in a lot more movies after the Wampa. Oh, really? Why don't you tell us a little bit about your movie career? I was in a bunch of movies. Such as? 
Uh, time's up. I don't think you did anything that compares to the work of the Wapa. I did Call of the Wild. Mm hmm. This moron's problem is to, I'll tell you that right now. He's a moron. Oh. Did you say I'm a moron? And you also said I'll tell you right now. That's my little phrase. I'll tell you something. The call of the wild. I got a call of the wild right here. It says that. <coughs> hey. I try to have a peaceful show when people are pushing my buttons lately. Just because I'm on top of the world and number one man in America. In game. What else we got going on tonight, folks? Backstage here at Pookie Bear Studios. I'll tell you, I'm a, I'm a very fortunate wampa. I've uh, uh, started with my meager beginnings, as I've told you, folks, and now I'm in the high life. I'm at the top of the food chain, as it were. And, um, uh, yep. Yeah. Who else is here tonight, KK? We're doing a lot of behind-the-scenes videos lately, if you'll notice, folks. I, I like to, like, show you what goes on. I'm Superman. Hi, Superman. How are you? Good. What's your story? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just came in here to say hello. He works for DC Comics. What does DC stand for, anyway? I don't know. <laughs> Something. I work for Lucasfilm. And, uh, actually not anymore. I quit them because I got into politics. So now you know what I work for? Pookie Bear Industries. And I, oh, I also work for DC, don't I? Yes, you do. I haven't made a movie in a long time. I do who with the wet <laughs> Superman. Is it a speeding bullet? Is it a freight train? Is it a, what else do they say, Pookie? Faster than a speeding bullet. Speedier than a runaway train. More powerful than a locomotive. Uh, something like that. You now, Daddy, you're up there in age. I mean, what, what, didn't you listen to the Superman records back in the day? No offense. I'm sorry. Daddy, I shouldn't say he's up there. But, yeah, Daddy's kind of a young guy, isn't he, Kiki? Yeah. And there's our head of security. Roosevelt. Rosie! Roosevelt. Camera's a little blurry tonight, folks, but there he is. He likes to drink the water out of the uh, dog's dish instead of his own dish. He drinks all the and dog's make sure water. make to watch the shorts that we're making. We're going to start making Wampa shorts starting like... This is him. He's a man of few words. Triple H is a man of few words. KK does like... Uh, Making shorts, is it weird? And the Wampa's going to start being in shorts pretty soon. 15 second videos. It's basically a ripoff of TikTok, but it's on YouTube this time. If it makes me rich and famous, I don't care what it is. <laughs> KK wants me to sell merchandise. His vision was like you have like a black t-shirt with like a, the red circle with my little face, like our thumbnail for the show. My little face saying, I'll tell you something. Right. So, folks, let us know if you'd buy some Wampa t-shirts. Because that's my catchphrase. It kind of happened by accident. I kind of say I'll tell you something a lot. We didn't notice until we were watching the finished products that I say that quite frequently. Don't I, Gabe? Yes. Yep. So, where did our friend uh, Raphael go, as it were? He's, he's lying there. Now, Roosevelt, what do you have to say tonight? Roosevelt gave us quite a scare. He went missing for about two days a couple weeks ago. He was missing, and then he just showed up at the back door of the studio. The whole family was kind of worried. KK, weren't we? Me, you, Daddy, Murmur, Erica, we we're looking for Roosevelt. And now welcome home, Roosevelt. Don't forget Triple H. He was looking. Were you looking too? Yes. What are you So, yeah, Duchess uh, missed him, too. She went crazy when he came home. It was kind of cute to see. The dog just loved the cat. But the cat wanted nothing to do with her. 
The dog loves the cat. The cat does not love the dog so much. So it's kind of interesting to watch the relationship uh, as it develops. And uh, as for me, I was looking all over the neighborhood for Roosevelt, and uh, we couldn't find her. We were about 48 hours into it. All of a sudden, there he was at the back door. Wasn't he, Caleb? Family came home from church, and there was a Rosie belt standing by the back door. So, what in the... You all right there, Triple H? You know, you never know what's going to go on around here, folks. There's injuries. There's people flying around. Feelings get hurt. There's tears. There's laughter. You never know what's going to go on backstage at Pookie Bear Studios. You have to have thick skin to do this job. I'll tell you something right now. Thick skin and that sort of thing. Right, Keep. Yep. A lot of egomaniacs trying to get up, be the next big thing in this world. And I'll tell you something, none of them can compete with me. I am the next big thing. I've solidified myself as KK's host of the show. And dip. You know how it is, folks. Well, I'll tell you something. Uh, Raphael, what's your story? My story, Wapa. I'll tell you something. Uh, that's my line. You bank? I'm sorry, Wapa. I won't say it. But uh, I've been around. You saw my show, folks. My pilot from my own sitcom back in the 60s, The Raphael Show. Uh, the writing was very cheesy. Uh, the writers didn't really know comedy all that well. As you remember our first joke. You remember it, Caleb? Yep. Our first joke was pretty cheesy, wasn't it? The joke was, it sure is hot out today, and the guy who installed my air conditioning was kind of a wacko. That was the big joke. They even added a cheesy sound effect. Wah, 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 when I told the joke and it didn't work. And then Wampa came on set and we got into a fight. Ad libbed it a little bit, tried to have some fun. He ended up body slamming me. I fired him on the spot right on camera. And uh, I'm paying my dues. I'll tell you something. I'm paying my dues. Here's our screenwriter, head screenwriter, Duchess. She just came in the room. Hello, Duchess. And now we get to see. What's hanging from her head? Her, her, uh... What? Oh, no, her, she's got her chain on. Well, I'll tell you something. Uh, I'm paying my dues for firing Wampa, getting uh, hot under the collar. Uh, it, 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 take my advice, folks. A little show of temper one day can have a lifetime of consequences. I got hot under the collar. I fired the Wampa, and now I'm working for him? Like a commoner, like a peasant, like a, like a putz. Aren't I, Wampa? But I'm getting my just desserts because I fired him and I shouldn't have. I'm sorry, Wampa, do you forgive me? I'll tell you something. I do forgive you, Raphael, because it, it, even though you're kind of a punk, I uh, don't hold grudges because I'm gracious, humble, and wonderful. So it, I bestow mercy upon you. Mercy and uh, gratitude. Mercy and gratitude? Gratitude that, you know, don't get me started. Wampa has a bit of an ego, doesn't he, get you? Yes. What's going on with the camera there, sister? Watch it. Now, uh, but you know what? I was pretty hot in the 80s, wasn't I, Caleb? Yes. I was all the rage. After school, you know, what was on TV? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Turtles in a Half Shell, Turtle Power. It was Heroes in a Half Shell, I think. Forgot my own show. I was in the height of my fame back then, Caleb. And now I'm working for Pookie Bear Industries, featured on KK and Daddy Show, and um, I'm 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 happy to be a regular on the show. I thank you for giving me the work, Caleb Wampa. I appreciate the second chance, even though I canned you. You bettered me. I'll I'll admit it. You bettered me. You did good. And I salute you, sir. Well, I thank you, Raphael. Not too bad. And uh, I'll keep you around a little bit longer. Maybe I'll give you a raise. Like half a percent. No, 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 no. So, folks, there we have it. Uh, who else we got, KK? I think that's everybody. That's everybody. Kind of a quiet night tonight at Pookie Bear Studios. Would you buy a T-shirt with my face on it? Would you, folks? That's what we were thinking, right, KK? Like a black t-shirt with my little face on it. 
and say, um, I'll tell you something, or I'll tell you something right now. I say that a lot. What else do I say, Caleb? Uh, I'll tell you. I just preface what I'm going to say a lot of times, don't I? And I think of my humble beginnings, I replaced Godzilla. Godzilla was the original host of this show way back in the day. It was black and white. Circa 1996, I believe Caleb started filming. Right, Caleb? Yep. And Caleb fired him on the spot. Gave him a one-minute time and he fired him. Godzilla was not happy. He threatened to burn down the whole set with his fire-breathing power. But uh, here we are. Wampa is running the show. Graciously so, and uh, with great talents and abilities. Now, I'll tell you something. I want to wish you all a good night. Make sure you stay tuned for our next exciting episode. Peace be to you. Uh, keep your feet on the ground. Keep reaching for the stars. Space is the place. Sky is the limit. Go down that lonesome highway, but do not get hypnotized. Because it gets ugly out there. Emotions are running high here. The cat is growling at the dog. For KK, for Daddy, this is the Wampa. For John C. Oh, I'm sorry, for Triple H, for Raphael, and for the Penguin and Superman, this is the Wampa saying... We'll see you when we see you. We'll see you on the flip-flop. We'll see you on the flim-flam. And, uh, yep. You cut that camera right now. I say goodnight. You hear me, sister? Say goodnight, KK. Goodnight. Yep.